Hi, I'm Brett Hovell, trainer on NBC's The Biggest Loser Season 11 and creator of The 20-Minute Body. Welcome to Burn 100, where you're gonna burn 100 calories in 10 minutes or less. Today's workout, all you need, a set of dumbbells, baby, and your body weight. I call this workout the Hitman. Get ready to pay some dues. Uh. So our first move coming up, it's a thruster, a squat to an overhead press in three, two, one. Here we go, deep breath in on the way down. Hips down to knee level. <sighs> Exhale, drive those hands all the way above the head. Bring it down nice and slow. So you got a minute of thrusters. <sighs> I'm gonna take that deep breath all the way in. I get those weights right in front of my chest and I drive it up. Here are some of the key points. Again, bring those hips all the way down to a full squat. Drive, push through the heels. Get those hands all the way up. I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit. When I finish my press, I love to get my arms right by my ears. Keep going. Keep it up. Ah. You're about halfway through. We love the thrusters. Come on, baby. 10 seconds. First one, we love full body movements. You're done in three, two, give me one more. Uh, and that's our first move, the thruster. Now you got a 30 second break, we're gonna jog it out. Now you can do more high impact, you can pick it up, or a little low impact, but this is a rest. So get your rest. You got 30 seconds here. You're going in five, four, three. Next move, we're doing little squat thrusts with a run. I'll start with a run. One, hands down. Two, the legs come out. Feet flat, and I stand up for the sprawl, and then I run again. Number one, hands down. Two, feet out, exhale, keep those abs tight so you don't hit the lower back. Land with the chest up, feet flat. Stand up, we're gonna run. I'm gonna pick up the pace. Are you ready? Ah, here we go. Run a little bit. You got 30 seconds, bang. Now if you wanna make this harder, come all the way down into the ground for a sprawl. Down, down, down. And then add a jump. All the way down, huh? And add a jump. So instead of the high knees, right? Less impact, fast feet. Instead of the big jump route, I can walk. And I'm coming up just as good. I walk it out and walk it out. I could even add a little hop. So I got those high knees right here. I wanna make it more impact all the way down on the ground and a big jump, one more time. High knees, come on baby, you're with me. Three, two, ah, one. Bang, little rest. So this should be an active rest. I don't want you to stop and pull, right? You're moving around still and you got 30 seconds. What I want you to do is get your mind ready for the next exercise coming up. We got Renegade Row. Here's what I need, I need your feet wide. When you come down for the push-up, you can go on your knees for a modification if it's too hard, or again, get that chest and belt buckle all the way down. Tighten up the legs, the abs, the bunda. <sighs> Lift, your feet need to stay on the ground. Imagine you've got a glass of water right on your back. Don't tip that water when you lift. If I was getting too tired, this is just as good right here. I'm on my knees and I'm just doing the body weight renegade row. It's just as good, keep coming. You wanna add some weight? How about this modification? Take the push-up out and just do a plank row. Boom, this is just as good. But I wanna get some. Ah, I want my 100 calories. Ah, 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 good. About halfway, come on. Renegade row, down for the push-up. Exhale, shh. Tighten up the legs, boom, one. Two, you got 15 seconds, here we go. You're done in five, four, three, two. Mercy, good set. So, you're up. Again, you got a 30 second break. Next one coming up, we got multi-jacks. Multi-jacks, so you're not just doing jacks, you're gonna do two forms. So if you've done this right, if you pick the right exercises, the right weight, you cannot go lightweight, you should be feeling this. You're going in five, 
four, three, two, here come the jacks. Right in the crossover jacks. Now, if this was too much impact, hey, I can still sidestep like this and get a good workout with all, without all the impact. Instead of the jacks, I can just step out here. My heart rate is going, I'm feeling good, and then I switch more to those side steps, and it's just like you're doing the jacks. You're done in 10, nine, eight, seven, how many? Six, how many? Five, how many? Four, three, two, one, that's mercy. You're just under the 10 minute mark. Keep moving. Keep that breath going. We got abs coming up. I know you want that flat stomach. I know you want the sexy six pack, I'm with you. He doesn't drink his six pack, he wears it. Oh, it's a good one. Are you ready? You're going in five, four, three, two. Now if you're at home, you could have a mat underneath you. These are leg drops. We're gonna go down and up. So what I want you to do is keep a flat back in your lower back. Imagine I have my hand here, push into my hand so that your lower back stays flat. If your lower back arches, it's gonna hurt your back. So you'd need to switch to something easier. If two legs was too hard, take a look. I could go to single leg, this is just as good. If that got too hard, bend the knees, get a little heel tap. That's still gonna work those lower abs. And if you wanna get nutty house, how about the leg drop split? Oh, it's so good, you love it! Uh. And that, my friends, is a little burn 100. I'm Brett Hopel, and I want to thank you for joining me at the workout, The Hitman. This is the Burn 100 series, baby, and we just burned 100 calories in 10 minutes or less. I want to hear about your results. I want to hear what's your favorite way to burn 100 calories. So comment below, and don't forget, follow us on our social media and use the hashtag Burn100. From all of us here, I want to say mucho obrigado, thank you, and I will see you very, very soon. Uh.